Hi, uh, my name is John Knight. I'm manager of corporate research partnerships at Trent University. Uh, I work in the Office of Research at the University. Please tell us what you do in your role at Trent University. The biggest thing I do in my role at Trent University is connect our faculty researchers with opportunities to apply their research either in a commercial setting or working with business. Um, so I basically um, do a lot of work with industry in introducing them to specific researchers at the university and vice versa. I take ideas that are being developed uh, by our researchers into the marketplace or find companies that are willing to work with our researchers. The other element of my job is often we do this partnership development uh, working with government and government funding agencies uh, which helps enable or speed up the process of uh, taking an idea uh, from the research lab into the marketplace uh, with a company. What are the strongest attributes of Peterborough's economy? Strongest attributes of Peterborough's economy? It's a, I think it's a, a very diverse economy. Uh, we've got some well-established businesses that have been here for, uh, I guess, almost uh, 100 years or more. Um, I'm thinking of General Electric and uh, Quaker, Quaker Oats. Um, but we also have a, a large number of growing small businesses that have been started up by entrepreneurs and have now, um, you know, have 10 to 15 or 20 employees. And I think that's really the backbone of our economy is the small business in this community. Where do you see the growth sector being in the next 10 years? Well, in the next 10 years, it, it, it's uh, in this community, I think the growth sector is going to be in uh, two areas. Uh, one will be in the information technology and software and computing area. Um, I, that's, a, that's a big marketplace in general, but we have a company called Open Text here in town, which is a very large and growing and, and thriving company. I think that uh, that is a company that I think can uh, attract other businesses in that area to start up and uh, operate in this community. The other area of potential growth is going to be in the area of uh, green technologies. And there's uh, multiple segments in that market. Uh, some of them are, will be in, involved in the uh, uh, water technologies and water purif purification technologies. I see a lot of opportunities in that area. I see opportunities in uh, spin-offs uh, related to the and supply to the nuclear sector. And um, I think there will be also uh, some uh, emergent opportunities in the development of uh, bio-based materials, which is taking renewable uh, uh, biomass, uh, often from agricultural crops, and finding new markets for those products in the area of bio-based materials or materials that are created, created from renewal, re renewable uh, sources of uh, feedstock. What profession is it currently quite difficult to find work in? Well, that's, good. that's a hard one for me to answer, but uh, I, I would say that the education sector is not a good area to be in right now. Uh, this is a community that is downsizing its uh, number of schools. Um, population demographics are changing more to an aging population. There's not as many young, young uh, children going through the school system. So uh, I, don't, I think it would be kind of tough to find a job in the teaching profession right now. If you could welcome one particular profession to come to Peterborough because of the current labor market shortage, who would that be? Um, in my role, I interface, uh, interface quite a bit with uh, businesses. And I came out of the business uh, area. And this was always a difficulty in our business that I was in. And that, was, that is finding engineers. Um, in a variety of different kinds of engineering uh, areas, mechanical engineering, uh, electrical engineering, chemical engineering. Probably in the area of IT, they have trouble finding software engineer people. So I think that whole broad occupation, there's uh, probably a lot of opportunities in this marketplace for engineers. Please tell us why Peterborough is the great place for business. Well, it's a great place for business because of a couple of things, I think. 
Um, the first is it's a beautiful place to live, the natural setting to start with. Uh, second uh, item is that uh, I'll say the say the time period of 10 to 15 minutes. You can get to almost anywhere in this community in 10 to 15 minutes. So that if you're living in this community, it takes you 10 to 15 minutes to get to your job if you, if your job is in this community. Uh, that is. Uh, makes for a less stressful employee or employee work workforce if it doesn't take them long to get to work and it makes means that they have more time for either work or more time with their families, which I think is important to employee satisfaction. Thank you so much. Okay.